I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> it's three for three today, guys. This is this is insane. I'm actually being consistent. Pat on the back. Small little victory dance, okay? Thank you. Hey loves, I'm back with another video. Yes, like look at me. Like, <laughs> Guys, I'm back with another video. I realized that I should have started with like an intro video, what this channel is gonna be about. You guys get to know me a little bit more. Um, and I realized I didn't have that. <laughs> I didn't have that. And I'm already two videos in, so I figured, you know what, it's not crazy amount. I might as well just get it off my chest. So in order to, you know, get the party started, I'm gonna go to some you small YouTuber tag questions and I'm gonna go throughout this entire video. And yeah, let's just get right on into it. The first question is, what inspired you to start making videos? Now, if I'm being real with you guys, I've been making videos like, you remember the Nintendo DS, the 3DS? I would make videos on that. My mom had an iPad and I would make videos on that. I wouldn't post them anywhere, but I would just make videos. If it was stop motion videos, like with my dolls that I was playing with, or if it was just in general, I don't know why. I just, I just felt like I needed that creative outlet. So I've been doing it for a very, very long time, but the only problem is I wasn't staying consistent until now. Thank you very much. Question number two is, how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? So like I just said, I've been making videos for a while. I think I started making videos when I was probably like eight or nine and I'm 18 now, which is crazy to say. I'm gonna be 19 in July, but yeah, I've been making videos for a while and I've had another channel. It was called Pinkberry AG Studios and I'll give you the play by play. Pinkberry was a Froyo place that I loved when I was younger. AG stood for American Girl because I loved American Girl dolls and I was obsessed with them and I had that phase. And then Studios because I wanted to give you production. <laughs> I wanted to give you production, okay? I wanted you guys to take me serious. So I did have a channel before that. And then this channel has actually gone through some rebrandings. It's been Samantha Smiles. Now it's Sincerely Samantha. It was Sincerely Samantha Matthews, Simply Samantha. I've just been going through this like creative process of trying to figure out my image. Question number three is, where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in the next five years? Hopefully in the next five years, my YouTube channel will surpass 100K. I don't know why, that's like a smaller milestone, but it's a really good milestone and I've always wanted to surpass 100K. So hopefully that. And you know, still making my lifestyle videos, doing whatever and however, maybe collabing with new people. Um, I'm very open to collabing with other people, especially small YouTubers. So if you're a small YouTuber, hit me up. <laughs> Four, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? It's not that deep. <laughs> It's not that deep. I guess if I were to get across a message, it would be to grow, right? And it's okay to grow and it's okay to, you know, undergo changes and reflect and be yourself and go through those awkward stages. Because I've had my fair share of awkward stages and I know probably in the next five years when I look back at this video, I'm going to be cringing. Hey, hey, Beatrice Samantha, how you doing? Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm going to be cringing and it's totally fine. So that would probably be the number one message. Number five, do people from school find your channel? Um, I, my friends know, my friends know because I've told them that I was restarting it. And I also posted like a screenshot of my channel on my Instagram to kind of like promote it and get it out there again. So some people know, but not like, it's very, very small. So not really. Question number six, what does your username mean? So my username is Sincerely Samantha. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be patent. It's, it's patent pending love, cause I don't, <laughs> it might just change, we don't know. But Sincerely Samantha, I don't know. I feel like it's a very cute, sweet username of like, this is just my journey. So Sincerely Samantha, this is me. Um, it's almost like a video diary of everything that I'm going through and all the changes I'm going through. Question number seven, describe your YouTube content in one sentence. All always evolving that was not one sentence that was two words always evolving um hopefully trendy and hopefully entertaining i don't know i can't think of one sentence question number eight how many objects is your tripod made out of great question great question because my first video it was probably like seven i had books and it was stacked on top of my echo and then it was that stacked on top of like um or like leaned up on a box of like highlighters. But right now I have like an actual tripod that I download, or I download, hello, MP3. Um, sorry, 
I don't know what that was. My brain's malfunctioning. This tripod I've had for a while. So yeah. Question number nine. How many pennies have you made in the last 28 days? Pesos? Pounds? Honey, none. It's summer vacation. I have summer school. I'm doing my summer class online. Number 10, which window do you film in front of? I don't really film in front of a window. I feel like for the past two videos, it's been switching locations. Um, so yeah. 11, what inspired you to keep making videos even when you haven't found success yet? That's a really great question. Honestly, you know, um, it's really it's really nothing like inspirational. It's more like I need this creative outlet. Um, I go to an engineering school, I go to NYU. Hey, shout out Violets, go Violets. Uh, so I go to NYU and uh, I'm a computer science major. I probably should have got that formality out the way in the beginning, please. But I am a CS major and I feel like, especially during my first year, I struggled like heavily and it's okay to struggle. I'm actually gonna make a video about that, like going through your freshman year and stuff. But I feel like I've always needed that creative outlet, especially because engineering is so rigid. And yes, there are some creative aspects of it, but I feel like in the beginning, it's all about learning the basics. It's all about learning the foundation. And if you don't have that, then you really don't have anything. And because I was struggling in my freshman year, I feel like that I needed this space to kind of still keep in tune with my creative side. Question number 12, what video are you most proud of? Girl, I only got two videos. <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, I think I'm, I want to get better with each video I post. So I'd say my most recent video, my get ready with me, that is my most proud video because like my end card is clickable and little victories like that, that I'm getting through. So yeah. Question number 13, who are your favorite YouTubers? Now listen, I've been watching a lot of Philly and Chunks recently. Don't know where the British accent, accent came from, yeah. But I've been watching a lot of um, Philly and Chunks. They are hilarious. Like, I am here at 2 a.m. in the morning dying of laughter watching their videos. Hopefully I can do a collab with them. I've actually been very much into British YouTubers recently. So Philly, Chunks, Amelia de Moldenberg. I don't know if that's how you say their name. I do want to do a chicken shop date with her, but maybe one day. But manifestation is very, very strong. So those are my top three right now. Question number 14, what video would you create if you had an unlimited budget? Think big. I've always wanted to do this. This is silly. You know, I love music, right? So I love listening to music. I listen to everything and everything, except country. I listen to everything, <laughs> everything and anything. Um, but I always wanted to do, like when I'm listening to a music video and I think of a concept in my head to just make, especially if it doesn't have a music video, to put on my entire production. So if I had a really big budget, I would make concept videos for each of my favorite songs. Seriously. And I probably would star in them because I'm just conceited like that. 15, how much time do you spend on YouTube every day? Mm, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. During the day, not that much, but at night, especially when I'm not tired. I'd say like a good three hours. Is that bad? No, that's not that bad. Like it's 24 hours in there, like, like a good three hours. I don't think I spend that that much. Question number 16, do you watch your favorite programs regularly on YouTube? Well, recently I've been watching the Foot Asylum like uh, speed dating thing with Chunks and Philly, which <laughs> cracks me up every single time. Um, so I guess that would be one of my favorite programs, if you would consider that. And Chicken Shop Day by Amelia de Moldenberg is also one of my favorite shows on YouTube right now. Which software, no, question number 19, which software do you use for your video editing? Keep it simple, keep it basic, iMovie. Next question. Question number 20, which camera do you use to record your videos? It depends, sometimes I go between my phone and then sometimes I go between my Canon uh, SX510HS. It's like, it's a cute little point and shoot camera. I got it from my uncle who passed away a couple years ago. It was like, a, I think it was my middle school graduation gift he gave me. A middle school graduation gift, cause he knew I like photography. Um, so I've been using that with my tripod. Question number 16, nope, I'm going backwards. Question number 20, which camera do you use to record videos? Canon SX510HS. It's a point and shoot camera. Hopefully, I really, really want the Canon TI85. I think that's what it's called. I've been wanted that camera. So hopefully in the future. Question number 21. Why should anyone subscribe to your channel? You should subscribe if you love black women. Gotcha. <laughs> I got you right where I want you. If you care about black women and you love black women, you will subscribe to my channel. No, but on the serious note, um, 
I don't know, support a black YouTuber, support a dark-skinned black YouTuber who I hope is funny and entertaining and is doing something to make you laugh and trying to showcase some type of talent. I don't know, I don't know what it is yet, but showcase some type of talent. Support black women. That's why. Oh, guys, that was the end of the video. That was so quick. We went through that one, two, three, lickety split. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble for like what was it 15 minutes i have to look back and see thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble for 15 minutes uh yeah that this has been great so this is the small youtuber tag i'm samantha matthews it's been so lovely to see you guys once again and i will be back very soon oh yes very very soon okay love you guys Mwah. bye